This is the dip that you have been waiting for. Samsung can't seem to get five nanometers under control and AMD might have 128 gigabyte GPUs ready for us. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your host, Brett. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet. And in case you wanna suggest some tech news that you would like me to cover on this very here show, you can do so over on our Discord server, which is linked in the video description, just posted in the tech news channel. Heck, even start a discussion. It's always great when I get your thoughts alongside the articles that you're posting so that I understand where you're coming from when you link them. So join us down below. And down below is exactly where Ethereum seems to be trending with new reports coming out on the hash rate from Ethereum and more specifically how the China crackdown on cryptocurrency mining has affected the hash rate. And it's 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 bad. It's got it's 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 a good poop. It's decreased quite significantly, being at nearly a peak of 650,000 giga hash. It crashed down to around 450,000 giga hash, just crossing over the 500,000 giga hash marker over the last few days. But this is the lowest Ethereum mining levels that we've seen since March. This obviously being brought on by China's crackdown of cryptocurrency miners, as well as other countries that are starting to pay attention to not only the power usage that's happening, but just the waste and the lack of control that governments have on it, which is something that a lot of governments care about having over their people, the control. So they're trying to abolish it for those reasons, which is leading to a decrease in the hash rate, also brought on by a lack of profitability that's happening in the mining scene, which if Ethereum's hash rate is going down, that likely means that less and less GPUs are actually being used to mine the cryptocurrency, which just as we've been reporting over the past few weeks, prices will likely continue to trend downwards. Obviously, in the last few days, there has been an uptick in the network hash rate, but that isn't necessarily indicative of a larger trend. But it's interesting to see just how one country cracking down on mining can lead to such a drastic drop in the hash rate of a particular cryptocurrency. Is this something that you were expecting to see? Is Ethereum going down something you delight in? Or do you want to see the hash rate go down across the total network? Because that means that your computer is going to have a bigger slice of the pot which means you're gonna get greater block rewards, which means you're gonna be more crypto rich. Let me know down below in the comments. And I'm gonna let you know about a good friend of mine and today's episode sponsor of Hot News, Joey and his band Calyptra. They actually just came out with a new album and he asked me to promote it to you guys. So this is for all of you metal heads out there who enjoy the likes of Bring Me The Horizon or Tesseract. Had to make sure that I got that band correct. With Joey describing his band as melodic progressive metalcore. And fun fact, the jingle that you hear at the end of every episode of Hot News was made by Calyptra themselves. So you'll find a lot of electric stuff mixed into their music. I'm gonna encourage you all to go take a listen on their YouTube channel where they try to release a new song almost every month. And they said that if you subscribe to their channel, it helps to buy their children more Tyson chicken nuggets. Delicious chicken nuggies. You don't wanna deprive children of chicken nuggets, do you? Their new full length album, Sympathia, is now available wherever you can stream music, whether that's on Spotify or download it for free on Bandcamp. We'll have links in the video description for Calyptra and their new album, as well as their new songs. Go take a listen. Big thanks to Joey for asking to sponsor this episode of Hot News. Big thanks to you guys for going to check them out. And now big thanks to China for spacewalking. Why am I thanking them? I don't know. I like space. I've always been into astro stuff ever since I was a child. Anyways, China completes its first ever tandem spacewalk on their Tiangong space station, with this not being the first spacewalk, but rather the first tandem one where there was more than one person who actually went out on the space walk but you know what space is about to be invaded by capitalism all right tim curry was right it was the last bastion that hadn't been invaded by capitalism and now gec is launching satellites that will charge a million dollars a month to have space billboards placed over major cities, okay? I'll say that again, space billboards. I hate this, all right? Tonight, I wanna dine on GEC Soup. GEC announced that they were launching a bunch of CubeSat satellites with SpaceX and paying fully in Dogecoin, which was the whole meme about it, but they're doing the wrong thing, all right? You can support Dogecoin, you can support the meme behind it, but this is not a meme. This is ruining the night sky. This is absolutely awful. You're destroying nature, hell no. 
is how I feel about this entire experience. They say that the price point isn't too bad because that's what advertisers pay to put it on the Super Bowl. Yeah, but people choose to watch the damn Super Bowl. I don't choose to go outside and see a freaking Coca-Cola ad. This is garbage. Look at them putting it over Mount Fuji. This is absolutely deplorable. No, advertisers don't buy this. Maybe the first one will be like super gimmicky and people will be like, haha, I bought the product of the company that did the space billboard. We don't want this polluting our night skies. Stop it. Bad GEC, bad SpaceX, knock off this space capitalism. I'm tired of it. Are you tired of crypto stonks? I hope not, because it's time for the crypto stonks update. Bitcoin, up 0.23%, nothing. It's at $33,909.83. Ethereum up slightly today, up 4.26%. Maybe that might affect the hash rate in the future. Who knows, at $2,300. Dogecoin, however, down nearly a full percent at 23 cents. GameStop, the meme stonk, not going anywhere. It crossed below $200 for the first time in about a month, closing down 1.59%. AMC also trending downwards below $50, down 3.85%. It's also trending downward in price as it should, which makes me super tempted to pick it up, is the Microsoft Surface Duo. It is nearly $1,000 off at this point. The Microsoft branded folding Android phone has me super intrigued at the price point of $410 if you want the 32 two gig and $510 if you want the 64 gig. This is an amazing price. I want this. I just, I just, I can't see myself ever using it. I don't, why do I need a foldable Android phone? I don't, I don't, but it's only $410. Like that's, that's pretty reasonable. And it's, it's like good. It's $410 good. It's not $1,300 good. I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm gonna buy nothing. I don't know if that's true, but nothing announcing or at least showcasing just a little bit of their upcoming headphone launch. The Ear One is gonna feature active noise cancellation and come in at a price point of $99. You can see here the transparent image that they're showing for the upcoming earbuds. The reason this matters is that the founder of Nothing was also one of the co-founders of OnePlus. And so he's going on to do this new tech stuff, which is nothing, which I get this is gonna be their like shtick they do transparent technology, it's, it's essential stuff, like just the bare, okay, that's fine. I kind of dig it. We'll see if it's crap. $99 isn't a bad price for active noise canceling in earbuds. But the Pentagon decided that it is too high a price and this is not the cloud service that they're looking for. Microsoft's Jedi is now dead for the Department of Defense with the Pentagon canceling the contract for Microsoft's AI cloud computing solution that they were bringing and now they're taking on all newcomer contracts in order to help build it out with them saying that it no longer meets its needs. Microsoft not taking that line down and they are suing over that. Okay, Jedi Mind Trick saying, no, Pentagon, you're gonna take us. But these are the droids you're looking for, all right? Pentagon, you give us the money that you promised. Please, I don't know Star Wars enough to make another reference. Darth Jar Jar. It seems like Samsung's been invaded by Jar Jar Binks because it looks like they are continuing to struggle with their five nanometer chip production with reports coming out from Korea stating that Samsung's five nanometer node yield is right around 50% with their expectation to be at high volume production to be near 95%. So they are falling short by quite a bit with them continuing to struggle with this latest implementation. It really does look like TSMC is gonna be one of the very few companies that's going to bring us into the next generation of chip production, which means more monopolies, higher prices, and less satisfaction to everybody. But can you be satisfied with AMD's MI200 GPU? Can you? Because there's a new supercomputer that's been announced that's going to be using these MI200s, as you can see here, Australia's new 50 petaflop system, which is just, it's, it's a decent amount. 50 petaflop, it's nowhere near the exaflops that we're seeing in the highest end supercomputers, except for when you look at the specifications and then you break it down by how many GPUs it's gonna have, that means these MI200s are gonna have a 128 gigabytes of HBM2E memory. That is absurd. It's nowhere near that one terabyte like solid state cache thing that they had going on with their GPU at one time. But 128 gigabytes of HBM2E, that's gonna cost like a bajillion dollars. AMD, mega really expensive stuff. And GPUs are still expensive, but they're not as expensive as they once were. So I encourage you to go check out yesterday's episode of Hot News, where we talk about the price decline in GPUs that's happened across the world. And I'll see you in tomorrow's episode of Hot News, my friends. Cheers.